Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 7 of the video series. In this session, we are going to look at how to create a bar chart and some of the uh, properties of the bar chart and as well as set reference which is used for uh, comparative analysis, uh, which is a part of bar chart. And then we'll look at uh, some of the groups so that are uh, available in ClickView. Okay, let's switch to ClickView desktop quickly. So I'm going to create a new application. So just create, select on that. And then as you will control E uh, for opening the edit script. And then so I want to read the parts. Let's select table file and then sales data. So I want uh, the field names to be embedded. And then select finish. And first save the application. So here it will be bar chart. Right, and then reload so that we will get the data into click view. Let's create the list boxes. So for creating multiple list boxes, you don't need to go every time and uh, select the list box under new sheet objects. So instead of that, just go to properties then add what are the dimensions you are intended to create list boxes and city company country so have this tree and then press ok so Right, so let's create a bar chart with the available data. So this is this data is consisting uh, of a company wise, city wise, state wise, and country wise car units sold. Right. So first, I'll look at country wise. So let's add country as a dimension to a bar chart. For that, let's select chart and then select bar chart click on next and then add i want to see sales by country country and then i want to see the units sold so i'm going to give a label for this that is units so then finish so that unit sold is coming as a title in the chart because we haven't specified anything title in the chart under general so show title in chart is that so if you don't want just disable it right so this orientation is seems to be a bit cluttered so let's Go to the properties and change the orientation so let's select style there you would find orientation in the under the style so select the orientation and press ok right so now you can see and now i want to arrange these say this sales information in a proper order so let's go to sort order I mean sort tab under that you will find couple of options okay so let's select y value and descending now you can see the values are in descending now i want to display how many units are sold on top of the bar for that go to expression and here you can find values on data points just select that press on apply then it will paste the values on top of the so if you want to plot the values inside the data inside these bars in that case you have to go to presentation and then select plot values inside a seg uh, segment then apply so those values will be plotted if the bar size is enough to plot the values inside right it's deselected in that case so this is how we can uh, create a bar chart simply right so now
and set reference what is the set reference so now create a bar chart by car company so let's remove it now i want to check sales by company right so here you can see the label so i don't want label to be displayed here so in that case go to dimension and disable the label then that label will be if you don't want the caption to be displayed just go to properties and uh, at the end you find a caption tab so show, disable the show caption then that caption will be removed automatically okay now i want to check the sales of these cars and th th these are coming for all the countries now let's select australia so bmw and ford are there in australia and uh, 242 units of bmw and 170 units of ford were sold over there and check canada and canada also has ford and bmw okay now i want to check the units sold comparison with the different countries so australia and canada now i have selected australia i want to compare australia with canada then right click so go to the properties on top of the budget just right click and click on set reference right so now just click on canada so the values which are in thick color or else in dense color or for the current selection these are the cans i mean canada selection and the, va the bars that are with a lighter color or for the one which you set for the reference means these are for australia okay so in australia the bmw sales were 242 and in uh, canada it's 155 whereas in uh, i mean uh, ford it's 63 sold in canada and it's 170 sold in um, Australia. Let's check in Germany. So no cars was, I mean BMW and Ford was sold in uh, Germany. Let's go for France. So you can see here. So this is how the set reference is very useful for the customers or as first, uh, for the end users to compare then and there itself okay so this is the use of set reference then uh, now i want to uh, switch the sales dimension so earlier we have selected country and then we saw the sales by country now we are looking at sales by company assume user wants to change or else user wants to look at sales switching it between uh, different kind of different dimensions so how to do that okay so let's clear that so for that case so click we provides two types of groups those are cyclic and drill down so drill down is nothing but hierarchy level so assume i want to look at sales first by country and then by state and then by city and then by car manufacturer or company so this is how to define that so in for defining that let's go to the <coughs> dimensions of that particular chart and there you find an option called as edit groups click on that and then new so here by default it's a drill down group okay let's select group name when specify the group name group one and what you want uh, to specify in this group so here i want to see state and then company so let's you know state so i want to see country by sales country and company let's add so let's promote this country so now first you can able to look at the sales by country and then followed by company okay then press ok this is the drill down so you can see the arrow mark clearly now remove this and add group in the dimension press apply now you can see 
the sales by company if you want to go out so it will be country now you have sales by country if you want to drill down to the portugal sales by company just double click on portugal now you see you can you can see the company sales in portugal okay if you want to come back just double click on this you can come back or else just click on the uh, arrow mark right so this is how you can create and use the drill down and uh, the drill down is a hierarchical uh, approach to drill down it means you have to go in one direction you can't switch in between different things suppose assume you have three dimensions if you want to switch from one time di one dimension to another i mean a third dimension it won't work so you have to follow the path in drill down and the flexibility is there with the uh, cyclic group so assume i want in, I want, uh, let's create a new group so assume group 2 and which has country state and company right so let's select cyclic group and then press ok ok now remove this and add group 2 to cyclic right so now I want to see sales by company. Just select on this, click on company. So the sales will be switched from company to country, right? You can also interact with the chart as well, right? This is how the cyclic will work. Okay. Now, so far we have seen creating groups for dimensions. So how to create groups for expressions, right? Here we have some i mean units sold let's take average units sold so avg of units sold right so let's make it avg sold apply so now in this case now i want to have either one to be selected right so now i have grouped those two right you can ungroup that as well for grouping what you have to do is just click on group then all those things will get grouped okay let's finish now you can see the average so the dimension the group will be on the top and the fact or else expression group will be on the bottom so now you are looking at averages if you want to look at units so this is how you can switch between different dimensions and as well as different expression so drill down is not possible in the case of expression okay so that's about groups so we have seen about a bar creation set reference and group Let's see how many dimensions can be added for a bar chart. Okay, so I'm going to create a new bar chart. So I don't want any title in there. Let's select um, country and state and add sales sum of units so let's change the orientation let's make it horizontal okay make it stack So the first dimension will be on x axis and the second dimension will be on y axis with the legends. Okay. Now let's add the second third dimension. Let's see what will happen. So I'm going to add a third dimension company. What it has done.
let's select a country australia so in our case it's let's create a 3d chart you can see australia south australia new south wales so under australia there are two states i think seems to be let's check that right country state and company so australia south australia and new south wales new south wales and that ford and bmw two states and they have ford and bmw okay so one state seems to be has ford and seems uh, another has seems to be another uh, let's select France so there are multiple states in France and uh, each and every state has so let's check this state which, which state is that so Loriana so let's select Loriana where is that city Okay, seems to be car so yes this is the city lady france my god okay so one state one one uh, state has uh, many companies cars uh, sales means uh, so multiple multi brands or multiple brands were sold in that particular uh, state okay so this is how you can visualize three dimensions in a particular uh, bar chart let's look at fourth dimension let's look at fourth dimension add city as well now look at city Mexico can you able to read it you can't able to but the graph is I mean you can produce the graph but it is unreadable so you can use maximum of three dimensions to get a meaningful or readable format of bar chart okay so that's all for today's session thanks for watching the video please subscribe